The intersection where the crash happened on the Brown Shawano County line is considered dangerous. Deputies say St. Augustine Drive and Highway 29 is prone to more crashes than other intersections in the community. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel takes a closer look and continues our live team coverage. This bus crash, not the first accident to happen at that intersection. And now that area is set to be removed and an overpass put in to cut down on the number of crashes. Steve Pamprin travels Highway 29 to get home daily, but taking the St. Augustine Drive intersection scares him. I've avoided it because of that very reason that it's hard to get across. That's the same intersection the Pulaski school bus was trying to cross Tuesday night when it was rear-ended by an oncoming car. Currently, Brown County Sheriff's Office is doing a reconstruction, and the Wisconsin State Patrol will be doing an inspection on the school bus. Right now, deputies are trying to figure out what caused the crash. They say it's going to take some time. Every one of those people that may have been involved is going to have to be spoken with. The bus driver is a Pulaski School District employee, but whether or not he can continue driving bus is yet to be determined. Uh, he was broken up last night. He, you can imagine. The school says they will decide if the driver can come back after they assess the accident. Trying to get across there is um, you know, not the easiest sometimes. Two people were in the car that hit the bus. The driver is in serious condition, while his female passenger didn't survive the crash. The deputies say that intersection has seen a higher number of crashes. 22 accidents have happened there in the last three years. And now the DOT is setting construction for 2017 to put in an overpass. Raquel Lamel, NBC 26.